This is Heather Levere, and today I'm going to run through Outlook 2016 for you. Simple task of sending and receiving emails, and overview of automatic replies and out of office as well. So, if I needed to reply back to an email, here's my inbox here. I have the ability to hit reply, reply all, forward, or if this person is actually online, I have the ability to send them an instant message through Skype for Business. This is an email here from my Yammer site, so I'm actually going to reply to Carlos here. So if I hit reply, I can see it's just going to reply over here for me. There's a nice tip here that's actually letting me know I'm not responding to the latest message in this conversation. So I can select this, it will open and it will show me, oh, I already replied. I already replied to this email and I'm good to go. So I can easily file this email and discard no need to reply. If I pick this email up, I can drag and drop it into just my test folder and it now lives there. So now I have another email here from Ty that I need to reply to. I can hit the reply button and now I see that I haven't sent him any email before. I have the ability to actually reply here in the reading pane. If I wanted to, I can actually pop out this email and now it sits here and I have a little bit more features up here on the top. If I wanted to insert a certain shape, insert a picture, I can insert a signature. Um, I have options here as well if I wanted to request my delivery receipt or request a read receipt so that when the user actually, when the email is delivered to the user, I get an email saying that it was successfully delivered and a read receipt, the user will let me know that this has actually been read. I can even format my email here and lastly review any spell check that needs to be done i can do that here as well so it's a go back to the message i can just do a simple hello ty and test email and i hit the send button and we're good to go next thing i want to show you is how to run over the automatic replies so automatic reply would be referred to as an out of office. So if I know that I'm going on vacation soon, I can actually set out an out of office reply. So if I go to file, it's called automatic replies. Here I have the ability to add my automatic reply to send an automatic reply. I can have it, if I hit send automatic reply, this will be turned on automatically. So if I hit OK here, you'll see that it will be turned on right now. And we'll go back for a second. Here it is, automatic replies are being sent. So if that happens and I just need to turn it off, I can actually still reply to emails while my automatic reply is still on. So I can make sure that I can pick and choose what I want to reply to. So if I turn this off, simply turns off. Now if I want to set it for a certain date and time in the future, go back to file and go into automatic replies and I hit a send automatic reply. If I don't want this to start until maybe Friday, I can set the date and time here and say when I'm going to be gone. Now I get the ability here now to send this to send two different messages. One to one that's inside my organization and one that's outside my organization. I simply just type up the email and it looks like I have one here. And I have the one that here, it will go to automatic reply to people outside my organization. So it's going to automatically send this message to them and I hit OK and that will be turned on for those current dates. As you see, the bar does not pop up for me, so it was not turned on automatically. So that's Heather, this is Heather Levere, just a quick overview on Outlook 2016, sending emails and setting up your automatic reply.